Jason Molnar here with Driving Sales and today I want to talk to you about a very popular subject that we keep uh, talking about on our forum and that is what are the needs analysis that are important for a salesperson to know before taking a customer inside the showroom floor. When we say needs analysis, a lot of times we talk about the actual vehicle that they're looking for, what's important to the customer, but there's five other things that you need to know before walking a customer inside. We call them the big five of the needs analysis. Number one, who is the driver of the vehicle, meaning who's the vehicle going to be actually for? It sounds simple enough because you think the person in front of you who's shopping for a car is that person, but that's not the case. You'll find a lot of times the person who's buying the vehicle and the person who's going to be driving are two separate people. People. So you might want to know that a little bit early in the process rather than later. Number two, you want to know their credit score. Once again, it sounds easy enough to just ask somebody for their credit score, but some of them may not know. And so there's different word tracks you can figure out of how to get that information from the customer. Number three, does the customer have a trade-in? And you want to find out as soon as possible. That way you can start putting a deal together way before you bring the customer inside the showroom floor. And some customers may not be very forthcoming with that information because some of them still believe believe that you're going to use that information against them later on in the process and so some of them may hold those cards a little bit closer to their chest. What is their actual budget? Now you will find that some people will just throw in a number, well my budget is $30,000 or $40,000 and almost immediately you want to come back at them and just say, Mr. Customer, are you planning on paying cash for this vehicle? And you'll find that most of them will just chuckle in most cases and they'll say, well no, nobody's got that kind of money. And they're right, 85% of people will finance their vehicle and so you want to immediately immediately bring it down to a monthly payment, something they can afford to. And number five, what is the actual vehicle they're looking for? I've had so many salespeople bring their customer in inside the showroom floor and they're basically saying, well, they haven't really picked a vehicle and I would immediately say, why are they inside the store then? Get back out there because outside is just conversation. The minute you bring a customer inside the showroom floor, it turns into a negotiation. So once again, I hope this was helpful. If you have any other question, please make sure to send us an email and we'll respond to you right away.